You're listening to Bible Truth Feed, a podcast by Christadelphianvideo.org for Christadelphians and all those seeking the truth about the Bible message. Join us now as we present our latest episode. Welcome to the Tristadelphian Daily Bible Readings for June the 26th. Today's portions are taken from 1 Samuel chapters 5 and 6, Isaiah chapter 51 and Revelation 12 and 13. And I'm reading from the King James Version. So, on Samuel chapter 5. And the Philistines took away the ark of God and brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod, when the Philistines took the ark of God. And they brought it into the house of Dagon, and set it by Dagon. And when they of Ashdod arose early on the morrow, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. And they took Dagon and set him in his place again. And when they had arose early on the morrow, morning behold Dagon was fallen upon his face to the ground before the ark of the Lord and the head of Dagon was both the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold only the stump of Dagon was left to him therefore neither the priests of Dagon nor any that came into the house into Dagon's house tread the threshold of Dagon and Ashdod unto this day but the hand of the Lord was heavy upon them of Ashdod, and he destroyed them, and smote them with a numerous, even Ashdod, and the coast thereof. And the men of Ashdod saw that it was so, and said, The ark of the God of Israel shall not abide with us, for the hand is sore upon us, and upon Dagon our God. Therefore, and gathered all the lords of the Philistines unto them and said, What shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? And they answered, Let the ark of the God of Israel um, be carried about unto Gath. And they carried the ark of the God of Israel about thither. And it was so after they had carried about the hand of the Lord against the city was a very great destruction and he smote men of the city both small and great and they emeralds in their secret parts they sent the ark of God to Eltron and it came to pass as the ark of God came to Eltron but the Eltronites came out saying they have brought about the ark of God of the God of Israel to us to slay us and us our people So they sent and gathered together all the lords of the Philistines, and they said, Send away the ark of the God of Israel, and let it go again his own place, but it slay us not, and our people. For there was a deadly destruction throughout all the city, and the hand of God was very heavy there, and all the men that died were not smitten with the emerald. The city, the tribe of the city went up to heaven, 1 Samuel chapter 6 And the ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines seven months, and the Philistines called for the priests and the diviners, saying, What shall we do to the ark of the Lord? Tell us wherewith we may send it to his place. And they said, If ye send it away, the ark of the God of Israel, send it not empty, but in any wise return him a trespass offering, for ye shall be healed, and it shall be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. Then said they, What shall we be the trespass offering? What shall then be the trespass offering? Which we shall return to him. And they answered, Five golden emeralds to the number of the lords of the Philistines, for one plague was on you all, and your lords wherefore. Ye shall make images of your emerald and your images of your might for mar the land, and ye shall go and give the glory unto the God of Israel. 
Peleventure he will lighten his hand from of you and of your God and from your land wherefore ye do harden your hearts and the Egyptians and the and Pharaoh harden their hearts and when he wrought the wonder fearfully among them did they not let the people go and they departed now for make a new cart and take two millet tin on which then have come no yoke and kin to the cart bring tiles home from them and take the ark of the lord and lay a upon the cart and put the jewels of gold which ye return for a trespass offering in the coffer by the side thereof send it away that it may go and see if it goeth up by the way of its own his own coast to Beth Shemesh or then he have done this great evil but if not then shall we know that it is not his hand that smote us and this is a charge a chance that happened to us and the two and the men did so, and took away the two millet kin, and they tried up to the cart, and shut their cows at home. And they put and they put the ark of the Lord upon the cart, and the coffer, and the mice of gold, and the images of their emeralds, and the kind of the took straight way to the way of Beth Shemesh, and went along the highway. Lowing as they went and turned not aside to the right hand or to the left. And the lords of the Philistines went after them unto the border of Beth Shemesh. And they of Beth Shemesh were reaping and their wheat harvest in the valley. They lifted up their eyes and saw the ark and rejoiced to see it. And the cart came into the field of Joshua of Beth Shemite and stood there where there was a great stone, and they clave the wood of the cart, offered the kine and the burnt offering unto the Lord. And the Levites took down the ark of the Lord, and the coffer that was with it, wherein the jewels of the gold, and put them on the great stone. And the men of Beth Shemesh offered burnt offerings, and sacrificed sacrifices the same day unto the Lord. And when the five lords of the Philistines had seen it, they returned then to Ekron the same day. There were golden emeralds which the Philistines returned for a trespass offering unto the Lord. For Ashdod, one for Gaza and one for Ascalon, one for Gath and one for Ekron. And the golden mice according to the number of the cities of the Philistines belonging to the five lords, both fenced cities and of country villages, even unto the great stone of Abel. Whereon they set down the ark of the Lord, with stone remaineth unto this day in the field of Joshua. And the Bethshemite, and he smote the man of Bethshemesh, because they had looked unto the ark of the Lord. Even he smote the people, fifty thousand and threescore and ten men. And the people lamented, because the Lord had smitten many of the people with a great slaughter. And the men of Bethshemesh, said, Who is able to stand before this holy Lord God? And to whom shall he go up from us? And they sent messengers into the inhabitants of Ajif Jamin, saying, The Philistines brought again the ark of the Lord. Come ye down and fetch it up to you. Isaiah chapter 51 Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, but ye seek the Lord unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and the whole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham, your father, and to Sarah, that bay you. I called him alone, and I blessed him and increased him, for the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. He will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord joy and gladness shall be found therein and thanksgiving and the voice of melody hearken unto me my people give ear unto me O my nation for the Lord shall proceed from me and I will make judgment to a light of the people my righteousness is near my salvation is gone forth 
Mine arm shall judge the people on the isles, shall wait for me. And mine eye shall they trust. Lift up ye eyes to the heavens, and look upon the earth beneath. For the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax like an old garment. They that dwell therein shall die in the manner, but my salvation shall be for an ever, forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Hearken unto me, all that know righteousness, and in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye dismayed. They were revilings, for the mouth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be for ever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Awake, awake! Put on the strength of the arm of the Lord. Awake in ancient of days. For generations of old, our vow that have cut off, cut Rahab and wounded the dragon, our vow that it which have dried up the seas and the waters of the great deep, but have made the depths of the sea a way for the ransom to pass over. Then shall the ransom of the Lord shall come with singing unto Zion with everlasting joy be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. I, even as I, he that cometh comforteth you, who art thou, shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die in the Son of Man, which shall be made as grass, forgettest the Lord, thy maker that have stretched out forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth, has filled continually fear continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor as it were ready to destroy and where is the fury of the oppressor the captive exile shall not die and go down into the pit neither shall his bread fail but i am the lord thy god that divided the sea and whose waves roared and the lord of hosts is his name I have put my words in thy mouth, and I have covered thee in the shadow of mine hand, that I may plant the heavens, um, and lay the foundations of the earth, and say unto Zion, Thou art my people, awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk in the hand of the Lord, the cup of his fury, thou hast drunk in the dregs of the cup of trembling, Run them out. There is none to guide among the sons whom she had brought forth. Neither is there any that taketh her by the hand, and all that taketh her by the hand of the sons that she had brought forth up. These two things are come unto thee. And who shall be sorry for thee? Desolation and destruction, and the famine and the sword, whom shall I comfort thee? Thy sons have fainted, they lie at the head of all the streets, a wild bull in a net, the full of the fury of the Lord's rebuke of thy God. Therefore hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine, thus saith the Lord, the Lord thy God, for pleadeth the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand, and the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. And thou shalt no more drink it again, but I will put into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said unto thy soul, Bow, that we may go over. Thou hast laid thy body as the ground, and as the street to them that went over. Revelation chapter 12. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars, she being child and cried travailing in birth, 
and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all the nations, a rod of iron, and a child was caught up unto God, and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared of God, for they should feed her a thousand two hundred and three score days. And there was war in the heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and they prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more, and the great dragon was cast, that old serpent, that called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, and was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come the salvation, the strength, and the kingdom of our God, the power of his Christ, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, was to curse them before our God day and night. And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony. They loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice, O ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the sea, for the devil is come. Down unto you, having... Great wrath, because he knoweth he have but a short time. When the dragon shall, the he which was cast unto the earth and persecuted the woman, which brought forth the man child, and the woman were given to the two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness and to her place, where she is nourished for a time, and times and a half time. For the face of the serpent, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out and out of his mouth. And the dragon was at wrath with the woman and went away to make war with the remnant of her seed which keepeth the commandment of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 13 And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw the beast um, having seven heads and ten horns, and his horns and his crowns upon his head, and the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was unto a leopard, and his feet as the feet of a bear, and his mouth the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power, and his seat the great authority. And I saw of his heads, it were wounded to death, and his daily wound was healed. And all the world worshipped after the beast, and they worshipped the dragon, and gave him the power unto the beast. And they worshipped the the beast, saying, Who was like unto the beast, who was able to more, make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth, and speaking great things and blasphemies. And the power was given to him to continue. Forty and two months, and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, to overcome, and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, everyone whose names are not written in the book of life, slain from the foundation of the world. 
if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity, goeth into captivity, and he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth. He had two horns like a lamb and spoke as a dragon. He exercised the power and the first beast before him and caused of the earth and all them which dwell therein to worship. The first beast which steadily was wound was healed and he doeth great wonders and so that he maketh fire to come down from heaven upon the earth in the sight of men. He that deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by him to do the sight of the beasts, saying to them that dwell on the earth, they shall make an image, and the beast and the image of the beast which wounded by a sword did live. And he that to give life unto the image of the beast, the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth both small and great and rich and poor and the free and bond to receive a mark on their right hand or in their forehead. But no man might be able to buy or to sell or save he that have the mark or the name of the beast, the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him have understanding how the number of the beast. For it is the number of man, and his number is six hundred and three score and six. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found the episode helpful. Don't forget, most of these episodes are also available as videos on our video channel, cdvideo.org. So head over and take a look. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, please get in touch or leave us a voice message. We love to hear your feedback. You can email us at bt f at cdvideo.org If you enjoyed the episode, then please share it with others. Until next time, may God bless you in your studies and your walk towards God's kingdom. Amen.